Hey guys, welcome back to another AGC video. This time we'll be looking at some of the cut content found in Fallout 4. From unused holotapes to giant underwater creatures, you'd be surprised how much content was left on the cutting room floor. We'll start off with more of a cut concept art idea. Ever thought the game's synth uniforms were kinda lame? Well it turns out Bethesda had a completely different style intended for these artificial humans. With retro-like blue outfit, armor padding, helmet with a face shield and extra optional armor to go on top. The second generation synths would've looked badass. Why the uniforms were changed to what we got in the final game is unknown, but perhaps Bethesda didn't want them to look too similar to the vault Tech security armor which also uses a blue jumpsuit with similar protective padding and armor. For our next piece of gut content, we have Bloatfly Maggots. If you ever wanted more diversity in your choice of consumables, these maggots might have done the trick. Regenerating 5 HP, they do sadly add 6 rads every time you consume one of these delicious larvae. They were to be found laying around areas infested by grown bloatflies, as well as drops from the bloatflies themselves. Again, it's unknown why they were cut, but it's probably for the best since the commonwealth already has more than enough gross things to eat. If you ever visited Vault 81, you might remember a classroom full of vault kids studying. It turns out the player was supposed to witness a scene where the teacher would explain the GOAT exam to her students. Alright children, today we're going to talk about the GOAT. Who here can tell me what GOAT stands for? This sequence was accidentally cut by one of Bethesda's devs. Check it out. It's the Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. The GOAT is used to determine what your best skill sets are and assign you the appropriate career within the vault. What if we don't like it? I mean, I don't want to be stuck here doing security or anything. If you don't like your results, you'll have to take it up with the Overseer when the time comes. Lucky for all of you, the GOAT isn't given until you're 16 years of age. Now here are some example images that you'll be shown. Ew! Each image is associated with a question and will have four answers to choose from. The image you're shown presents a situation and each of the answers is a reaction. For example, this image was used in previous tests to ask which position you'd prefer. Pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, or none. You wish the vault had a soccer team. Your results are then fed into the computer to calculate your appropriate career. We don't even have real sports here. It's okay, Aaron. You'll choose the answer based on how you feel. Use instinct and be as honest as possible. Otherwise, that's a sure way to end up in an occupation that's not suitable for you. Any questions? Did the goat say you should be a teacher, Miss Pin? Yes, it did. And I feel very lucky to be teaching all of you today. Multiple voiced holotapes were cut from the game, including an unused chief's engineering log in the Yangtze submarine, giving an insight of the events prior to the player's arrival. Chief Engineer's Log, October 21st, 2077. I am now confident that we can repair the reactor's cooling system if we can scrounge up some rubber tubing and cool it. Perhaps we can cannibalize the parts we need from other systems on the boat. Unfortunately, we have now lost our entire reserve of uranium fuel, and that will not be obtained so easily. Obviously, the voice in which the holotape was recorded is lore-breaking, since it was a Chinese crew alongside Captain Zhao that was operating the sub. We can use the ship's radiation sensors to pinpoint any nearby source of uranium, but reaching it will be another matter. This is enemy territory, after all, and any attempt to go ashore will be incredibly risky. A couple of other cut holotapes can be found scattered around Nuka World, referencing different pre-war events and corrupt dealings happening around the theme park. Sabir, we seriously need to do something about these know-it-all union guys you hired. They keep complaining that things aren't up to code, that they violate Department of Labor regulations. I thought the whole idea was to hire inexperienced people that don't know the difference. Hey Sabir, it's Dusty. Some guy named Ernie Messenger came up in here today. Said we can't store any more waste under the bottling plant while we're waiting for the new disposal system to come online. Seems like some of the barrels started leaking, so they got a bit of a mess on their hands. Luckily, the runoff's just going into their little river of quantum. As long as kids keep their hands inside the ride, we're good. 
A deceased gunner by the name of Sergeant Lanier also had a cut holotape intended to be found on her body, explaining what their mission was in Nuka World. We've lost contact with Colonel Cypress at HQ. My private tells me the damage to our comms is irreversible, so this log will have to do. We've infiltrated a place called Nuka World. It's not in the best of shape, but promising for salvage. We're securing a small camp, and once that's done, I'll be sending out individual teams to the surrounding areas. The first location is the Nuka World bottling plant. The second is Kitty Kingdom. I'm not setting any high hopes for Kitty Kingdom. But this bottling plant could be big. Speaking of Nuka World, Caitlin Aldner's Pag Brahmin actually was intended to be a unique version of a Pag Bomaloof, but was never implemented. Small but nevertheless interesting cut detail. A giant TV in Diamond City, this monstrous jumbotron was to be found in the city but was cut. It's possible it would have had something to do with the Institute's quest lines perhaps broadcasting propaganda, or for a grander announcement of the existence of the Institute. Remember Tinker Tom, the quartermaster of the railroad? According to Fallout 4's concept art, Bethesda originally envisioned Tom as an older man with a gray beard and a variety of different high-tech goggles. Every test Des will let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you, or us. Honestly, the original design does make more sense since Tinker Tom holds the third highest position of leadership, and his age would make that seem more realistic. His outfit was to be different as well, with a more wasteland trench coat like look. He kind of reminds me of Dr. Quasir from Rage. Maybe that's where they got the original concept look from. For our last cut piece of content, we have the legendary Ghoul Whale, an aquatic creature living in the ocean off Boston Harbor. You can even hear some of the caravan guards at Bunker Hill mentioning it, while talking about the mysterious monster. The guards describe the creature as being ravaged by radiation and having grown massive in size. If actually implemented, it would have been a terrifying encounter skulking around in the muddy water and striking you from out of nowhere. What do you guys think? Would you have liked to see any of this content in game? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more cut quest lines and creatures, check out my 1 hour long Fallout 4 cut content video dedicated just for that. Thanks for watching.